Cineside is an international company. In fact, the London office now is the biggest digital film facility in Europe. There were many reasons that we went for Maya, but one of the most important for us was the ability it gave us to work as teams, where the Hollywood office and the London office could work collaboratively on large projects. The effects in the Avengers, I think, are very ambitious. The Avengers is based around a character, a villain, who uh, has got control of a weather machine, which he cranks up to max power. This is the apex of the storm. So we've got uh, lots of baby tornadoes coming down and a giant twister which is going to hit the Thames, which already gets uh, to its uh, ultimate destructive power when it actually takes out Lambert Bridge. Well, we started out with just a very simple NURBS tube shaped in the shape of a tornado. Now, because the tornado is throwing out a lot of water, the nice thing about Maya was we could then attach all the forces which would drive the particle systems, which would produce spray and foam and spray zooming up the tube and then cloud at the top of the tube. So once you've done one shot and you've developed the system, it was then just easy to place it in the other shots. This particular shot is where the bridge explodes. There were too many pieces for us to hand animate. It would have been impossible. The tornado comes in, we use the forces and we use rigid body dynamics and, and make the forces pick up the pieces. And the most important thing was that we could make the whole scene in one package. So we were never doing any conversion between packages. The geometric object could drive the particles and carry all the forces, and that would explode the bridge. Basically, it made our life a hell of a lot easier. I presume that these are not all of the expressions which we need to give you mind. The name of the film is Quack, and it's about uh, scientists experimenting with genetic growth structure of, uh, of living creatures. I come from classical animation. What classical animators are really good at, where their genius lies, is to express emotions and acting through movement and bring out the soul in the character. We've been asked to build the dog and make it as simple to animate as possible. We can build those interfaces really easily and really quickly in Maya. We can use Mel and we can use expressions to set up a way of animating a character which the 2D artist should feel natural with. Underneath all these controls was a very simple bone system using various IK solutions which Maya supplies. So when you pick up the leg, the hip also moves slightly. The Maya system will help us to be a lot more productive. There have been a lot of softwares around it that have continued to, to improve, but they've been sort of written for the artist that also knows of the technical side. Now this time, for the first time, the Maya system is really a breakthrough to enable these classical animators to work in the 3D world.